Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the video. Now the vehicle I've got for you today is a 2010 Pontiac G6 that is quite literally growing fur on the inside. Yeah, buckle up because this one's pretty crazy. Okay, well taking a closer look at the car and it's very clear this car hasn't been taken care of at all because every inch of it just looks horrible. The tires are extremely filthy, the headlights are dull and foggy, and it looks like a four-legged creature has had some fun on it too. But unfortunately, that's not the only creature that's been attracted to this car. Moving inside and it gets significantly worse. If it's looking like animals were living in here, well, you'd be right. There's mouse turds all around the vehicle, and after digging into it more, it looks like they spent most of their time in the trunk, as did this cockroach, which I was pretty shocked to find. But besides all of that, the entire car is just insanely dirty. There's disgusting stains on the seats and the whole interior is covered and caked on dust. But just before we dive into this mind-blowing transformation, take a second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I post a new video like this every week and if you've got the bell turned on, you'll get notified the moment they go live. Okay guys, well no question I've got my work cut out for me on the interior, but I'm pretty confident I can get it looking new again. So as always, sit back, relax and enjoy. Alright, well getting to work on this G6 now and it's no surprise that this car has some pretty significant paint issues after seeing how neglected the interior is. So I'll make sure to be extra careful around those areas today to not make them any worse. And I have to say that it never ceases to amaze me at what I find in vehicles. Just when I think I've seen it all, this one rolls in. Okay, well as I work my way around the car, I figured I'd give you some background on it. And just like the mess inside, it's pretty wild. So when the new owner dropped the car off, he told me he had recently purchased a farm nearby and this beauty of a car was sitting in a barn underneath a pile of furniture. Clearly the previous owner didn't care about it at all. So the new owner figured there was still some life left in this car and brought it to me to revive it. But sitting in a barn for a few years sure does explain why the mice and cockroaches found their way inside of it. Alright, while well, grabbing some of my Detail Geek Megafoam, I'll load my foam cannon and blast some super thick foam all over this car. 
which then gives me the opportunity to go around with my boar's hair detail brush and agitate in all the crevices around the car, like around all the trim, door handles, emblems, and behind the gas door. Okay guys, well it's time for the main event and the first thing to do here is to get these nasty seats out of the car, including the rear one as well, which was much dirtier than I originally had noticed with all the stuff sitting on it, as is the rest of the car, and I can now see what I'm dealing with today. More evidence that the mice were hard at work in here, and the driver's footwell looks more like a rock quarry than anything. Alright, well as I work my way around this below mid-grade carpet, it's time for this week's members question which comes from Calado, and it's, do you also dry the door jams? So first off, that's a good question and one that I don't recall being asked before, but the answer is yes I do. Once I'm done drying the vehicle, I always wipe down the door jams. It's just something I tend to do off camera as I feel it doesn't really add anything to the video.
Okay, moving to the rock quarry now, and I'll obviously first start by taking the crevice attachment off the vacuum so I can get these all sucked up. And I think this is the first time where there's almost been more rocks visible than carpet, which is an impressive feat in itself, but seeing how dirty the carpet is underneath all of that, and the extractor clearly has some work to do in a little bit. Alright, well as I continue to work my way around the interior with my boar's hair detail brush, I wanted to quickly remind you guys that I recently posted another day in the life vlog style video over on the second channel, the Detail Geek 2. This time I'm hard at work out in the yard and there's a whole bunch of progress being made, so if you're at all curious about what I'm doing out there, then be sure to check it out right after this video. Okay, now as I get started on the passenger seat here, you'll notice that I'm using my medium green drill brush today, and that's because with how bad these stains are, I know I'll need the extra agitating ability to hopefully get them loosened up, and while I start to make passes, it's clear it did its job well, and these seats are going to look perfect when I'm done.
Now getting to work on the driver's side of this back seat where the stains were the worst and I wanted to let you know that I'm running a big Canada Day and 4th of July sale right now over at DetailGeekAutoCare.com so if you need to grab some detailing supplies to get your vehicle looking its best this summer, then now is the time to do it. Be sure to check out some of the best selling items like the green drill brushes, drying towel, and all-purpose cleaner. Or if you need a little bit of everything, then consider the chemical bundle which includes all nine chemicals and best of all comes with bundle savings. And as usual, if you want the best deals and info on new products and sales, sign up for the mailing list. There's a link right at the top of the description for you. Moving inside to the carpet now and I have to say that I'm a bit surprised by how clean the rear carpets were considering how disgusting the rest of the interior was. I guess the rubber floor mats did their job well and protected the carpet which means a little less work for me today but the areas around the edges of the floor mats definitely need some attention. Here's the bucket full of absolutely disgusting water pulled from the G6 today. Gross. Okay, now to tackle all the caked on dust and grime on the interior panels, I'm starting by spraying on some of my Detail Geek all-purpose cleaner diluted 4 to 1 in this case, and we'll then hit it with the steamer and brush attachment. And thankfully this combo can undo even the worst messes so it doesn't take long and the door panel is all cleaned up and looking new again. The steamer is something I couldn't possibly detail without and it's also great for dirt and grime around the house too. So for anyone in the market for one, I've got the link to it down in the description so feel free to give it a look.
All right, well, since these panels were all one piece, I removed the entire thing earlier, although it's actually nice as it allows me to clean more of them outside the vehicle, which is good because I can then leave the mess on my garage floor and don't need to use as many towels since I can just rinse them off afterwards. Okay, moving outside now, and it's time to turn our attention to the paint, so I'll spray on some Detail Geek Quick Detailer to act as lubricant, and we'll then use some clay bar to ensure that all the surface bonding contaminants like tar, tree sap, or any other road grime are removed from the paint. Once this is done, the paint will be perfectly clean and ready for a sealant, but the other thing the Quick Detailer is really good at is for in-between waxing or sealing your vehicle as it can easily and safely remove light dust or fingerprints and is the perfect thing to use to keep your vehicle looking its best after every wash. You can find it on my website at detailgeekautocare.com. Now armed with some of my DG secret stuff and a microfiber cutting pad, I'm going ahead and polishing these yellow and hazed headlights. So with the speed of my polisher set to five to six, I'll make several passes over the headlight, wipe off the residue and it's going to look new again. Last step here is to get some of my tire dressing applied to the tires, which is going to leave them with a nice, deep, matte black look when it dries.
Alright guys, well 11 hours later and the factory reset button has been hit on the G6, at least on the interior anyways, and I gotta say it is looking spectacular. Now if you guys enjoyed the transformation, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on future videos, enjoy the guitar outro, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.